Hey guys, I'm JD and welcome back to the Dimensions Woodworks Woodshop. Today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Wood River number no. 7 joiner plane. Let's get into it. Today's video is brought to you by Woodcraft, helping you to make woodwork since 1928. The side panel of the packaging gives you some indications for the uses for this plane. It's used for truing edges and flattening the faces of boards. The number seven plane uses length, cutter width, and weight to make these tasks easier. The 22 inch long number seven has a two and three eighths inch wide cutter and at 9.6 pounds is more than a pound heavier than our original. Just what you need to power through the toughest grain in the hardest woods. So basically, before woodworkers and craftspeople had the aid of electric powered joiners, they had the joiner plane. So let's get into it, shall we? The first thing you notice about the number seven when taking it out of the box is its weight and its substantial length. 22 inches is quite a vast jump from someone used to using typical bench planes like the number five. And as all of my Wood River planes have come, it comes in a sealed bag to prevent any rust through the shipping process. So the first thing we're going to do when we get the plane out of the packaging is go ahead and wipe down this excess packing oil. Then we'll remove the plane iron and the chip breaker. And get into the frog. And while we have those particular components out, we want to check the front screw on the front knob and the screw on the back tote just to make sure those guys didn't get wiggled loose in shipping. Then we can reassemble everything, putting the plain iron and the chip breaker back in its position and the lever cap to hold those items into place. Then we will advance the knob till we see a thin black line just protruding from the sole of the plane and that means we've got enough of a bite from our blade. You can just see it there. We want to make sure that that black line is even and if it is not then you need to adjust the angle of your lever. Now you can see that guy going back and forth there. We wanna make sure that that is even all the way across the sole of the plane. Gonna give us a good even cut whenever we make our shaving. Now I always like to make a couple of passes with the factory edge before I ever sharpen it, just to see how well they've done on the edge from the factory. And this is exactly one of the chores this plane was designed to do. So I can see automatically from the first few passes of the plane that this area of the board is much lower than this side. And we wanna bring that all to the same level. Now we're starting to get some bite on the other end of the board.
So I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I feel like that is a pretty decent shaving for a plane that was taken right out of the box and only sharpened with a factory edge. I had not touched that plane iron at all, and these are the shavings I was producing out of that factory edge. I'd call that pretty good. Another really good idea when purchasing a brand new plane out of the box is to check the flatness of the sole. The way that that is done is you take a surface that you know to be dead flat, and in this case I have a piece of float glass with adhesive back sandpaper attached to it. You would remove the chip breaker and the plane iron from the plane and then run the tool across the sandpaper and that would show you any high or low areas you may have where there may have been errors in machining from the factory. Then you just continue to work those until those high and low spots have disappeared. Typically, it's not very much. Overall, guys, I am really happy with this Wood River number no. seven hand plane as I have been with all of my Wood River hand planes. It has the length and the weight to get through the toughest of grains and it helps to give you a lot of reference area to make sure that you get a nice, true, straight, either edge or face of whatever board you may be working on. Thanks again to Woodcraft for sponsoring today's video. And if you're in the market for a hand plane or pretty much anything else you could use for woodworking, go to woodcraft.com. Link's down in the description. I really do appreciate it, guys. And don't forget to get better every day. Yeah.